crisp morning, a seat on the tube, no queues on the escalator, an easy stroll in the navy suit with the red tie from his school days that he should have forgotten but he keeps to remind him of success. Shoes polished like his grandfather's and an umbrella tucked neatly under his arm just in case. Green skirt. I did a rush with straighteners, pink and yellow jumper clashing but in a charming way. High heel shoes rubbing already. It's okay though, there are some grey trainers discarded under a desk. Hair, a mess. No umbrella, despite the weather forecast. Handbag that doesn't quite fit everything. That smile. The second before your life changes, everything slows down. Everything stops for one moment. She looks at him. They stare at each other and wait. Wait for the sound of the first. But before the age of YouTube tutorials, there was just the club toilet. Only a space as important as the club toilets can be a hair and beauty salon, a photography studio, a therapist couch, the whole cosmetic aisle of boots. Where, but no babe, you deserve way better is a mantra, a doctrine, and a rite of passage. Club toilets have taught me more about sisterhood than any book I've read since. What I'm about to tell you is entirely non-fiction. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It might get tough, you might even cry, you might laugh, whatever. Do what you need to do and I'll do what I need to do. To kill some demons. To live. Or are you here to judge me? Not listen, but judge. Is this my reckoning? Because people remember things differently, okay? Not everything that one person says is exactly how things happen, how they panned out, okay? So I want you to remember that, if nothing else out of all this. So think on that, and then, and then... My clip went from minute to mitre. My junk is thick, like thicker than a snicker, thick. Second puberty at 29. Voice drops. It wasn't liquor that put hairs on my chest. I used to get ill quite a lot. I caught straight woman itis many times. It's a deadly disease. Worst case I ever had was with her, with Simi. We are the damned, condemned to cycle 250 miles a week. The wheel-turning calibans in this city full of noises, sounds and not-so-sweet airs. Addicts in the game, controlled by an app, peddling furiously for rewards dangled by our own Prosperos, remunerated only for the items we deliver. Peace rate. That's what they call it. Popular in the Victorian era. They know a thing or two about exploitation. It's clever. Fiendishly clever. Employed. Not us. We're contractors, paid by the docket. What better incentive to make us work like stink? The fastest, the keenest, land the next job. And in between, for those long hours waiting around, nada. For the days off, sick or injured, nada. For those dead miles cycling back from a job, nada. 
for the mix-ups when the controller leaves you stranded. Nada. We can't decide who our families are, but we can decide who we love.